four-way competition for the National Wrestling Alliance World's Heavyweight Championship. It will be contested under NWA Rampage rules. The rules are two men are legal at any point in time. If a man is tagged into the match, they do trade positions, or if another man gets thrown from the ring and lands outside, another may come in to take his place. This can cause a little bit of confusion for officials, whether they be at the table, inside the ring, or back in the office. That is why tonight we have two referees. So when the bell sounds, ladies and gentlemen, outside the ring, official Brandon Toll. Inside the ring, NWA Chief Referee Greg Richards. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is one ball to a finish. And it is for the National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship.
Introducing first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing at 201 pounds, he is a former NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he is the savior of professional wrestling. This is Jimmy Ray. We got a crew. Introducing second from Chicago, Illinois, weighing at 230 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, he is your current and reigning NWA North American Heavyweight Champion. He is the Temptation, Sean Timbers. <laughs> Introducing your third competitor from Point Pleasant, West Virginia. He is the current and reigning NWA National Heavyweight Champion. He is the Dark Child, Chance Prophet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth competitor in this match, from San Diego, California, he is a former three-time National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion, the Scrap Daddy of the House, Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. Once again, this match scheduled one fall to a finish. There will be two referees in this Rampage Rules match. Head referee hoists the legendary 10 pounds of gold, the standard by which all others have been measured. And the rampage rules as it was broken down by the announcer, Stephen Hensley states that there's going to be a referee in the ring, a referee outside of the ring. There's four men active in the match. Only two can be in the ring at any given time. You can tag any of the, any of the other two in or out at your own discretion. If someone is deposited outside of the ring, then someone else can come in and, and uh, run on their dime. So there's your announcements, your explanation of the rules, and there's the bell. Who's going to start this one off for us? Well, it looks like Scrap Iron Adam Pierce is ready to go. Doesn't look like anybody else. Perhaps Chance Profit. It doesn't look like anyone else is quite ready to go. I think they all just want chip away from the ring. I, I'm not sure that's entirely true. Looking at those three men looking over at Jimmy Rave, I think they have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Jimmy Rave kind of just interjected himself into this match. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the NWA World Heavyweight Championship on the line. And Rave is tagging in the temptation, Sean Tempters. But you, you think about it. Any one of those men would rather have a one-on-one -on -one shot. Then they find out, okay, it's going to be a three-way. Then to get here and find out that Jimmy Rage, Jimmy Rave has overturned the apple cart on the whole deal as, temp, as tempers. Face this off against Adam Pierce. Yes, vocal collar and elbow tie-up. The North American champion taken over by a side headlock by the four, three times former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. And Adam Pierce wants very much to make it a fourth time today. I know that a lot of people would put his experience as, as former champion as odds in his favor, but he's coming off of a neck injury. A very serious one at that. His career, his ability to maintain a career in this business was called into question. But his abilities in the ring cannot be. He handily escaped head scissors applied by Sean Tempers and came out on top, back to the side headlock. Tempers shoots him off across the ropes. And a big shoulder now. And Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, with all that momentum, knocks Sean Tempers over, and Sean Tempers holding his deltoid muscle. you got to think about how strong Scrap Iron Adam Pierce is. Well, he's a big boy. He's perhaps the biggest of the four represented here. And Tempers trying to tag Jimmy Rave in, and Rave just stepped right off of the ring. And Adam Pierce... Dagging out to Profit. Profit coming into the ring against Tempers. The national champion, the Dark Child Chance Profit. Unorthodox. I mean, maybe it's because of where he's from, Point Pleasant. I mean, the place has a sordid history anyway. Snap Mare and a big kick. And the national champion taking it to the North American champion. This is a superstar cavalcade. This is the top of the NWA echelon. As you see Chance Profit trying to keep Sean Tempers unsuccessfully, albeit, from getting away from him. Now Tempers with the hammer lock. 
Prophet going for a handful of hair. Not a whole lot of hair there. He's finding it. Where he can find it. Not working out too well for him at the moment. Tries to grab the referee's hair. Wow. What's he trying to grab a hold of? Snapmare takeover by Prophet on Tempers. And he's trying to tie Tempers up as well as he can. It's the Dark Child. He's trying well, to move. Doing a pretty good job of it. Almost a dragon sleeper there. Absolutely. I, I, he's trying to get him prone on the mat. That's for sure. Nice forearm shiver from a from a, a laying position. From a prone position, Tempers doing everything he can to fight out of that position and did a great job of it. Now he's back up to his feet and he is taking it to the Dark Child. Jimmy Rave oblivious momentarily to the action in the ring. Chance Prophet now sizing him up, looking to reverse. He's got a hold of him and he turns around and he is biting the fingers of Sean Tempers. And now words being exchanged between Jimmy Rave and Chance Prophet. Whoa! Big solid right hand. And Tempers got distracted by the scrap daddy there. And he backed away and turned right around into Chance Prophet, who nails him with a snap side suplex of sorts there. And Chance Prophet standing high above Tempers now. Oh, and a slap of the face, which could count as a tag. Jimmy Rave looks like he might have to break a sweat in this match after all, Stephen Hensley. And if you were still wondering if anybody has a chip on their shoulder towards Jimmy Rave, I think that pretty much answered all the questions. There's a man with a target on his back. It's Rave. And he has no one to blame but himself for it being there, sizing up for a test of strength with Sean Tempers. Switching out the hands here. No one, no one, including Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, particularly impressed with this mind game, this strategy. Tempers drying off his hands on his boot for those of you who wondered what, what was going on. And a tag. Chance Profit back in. Adam Sh Pierce ducked out on that one. Did he? Okay. Oh, and there's you an unorthodox tag. Adam Pierce being pretty smart about things. Uh, keeping on the outside, watching what's going on in the and Tempers finally getting his hands on the instigator of the evening. Rave now getting shot across the reversal by Rave. Rave lays down and a big clothesline. He's proud of himself. Tempers rolls out in there. So Rave might want to turn around. Savior, I think that you just ran to a major roadblock. And now Pierce unloading on the man that's caused all the problems. Rave ducking out very, very quickly on this one. Tempers back on the apron. And now Pierce going out after Rave. And he's getting a piece of him on the outside. And now Tempers, uh, Tempers over there with Chance Prophet. Pierce taking it to Jimmy Rave into the barricade. Pierce absolutely going after Rave right now. And like I said earlier, there's a target on anyone's back. It's Jimmy Rave. Adam Pierce taking exception to the arrogant young man who injected himself into this world title contest. Adam Pierce. He's wanted this opportunity for a while, sitting on the sidelines. He got his opportunity, and then someone ducked out. We got a three-way match, and then somebody jumped in. We got a four-way match, and we got all hell breaking loose now. Double high backdrops by both Prophet and by... Hey, Prophet with the schoolboy roll-up on Pierce. We almost had, as you, see, as you see Prophet saying, a new world champion, and it would not have been for the fourth time. It would have been for the first. And the national champ squaring off against the former world champ. Collar and elbow tie-up. Both men going across the length of the ropes there. Jimmy Rave now physically yanking Chance Profit out of the ring. Oh, look at Tempers come in and capitalize on the turned head of Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Oh, a slap. And Tempers took full advantage of an opportunity there. Adam Pierce had his back turned. He runs in. Double axe handle smash to the back of Adam Pierce's head. And now you see Adam Pierce throat first across the middle rope as Sean Tempers continues to punish him. And I know that the throat is on the rope, but did you see Tempers' forearm? It was at the base of the skull. There's your pressure on that injured neck. And I think I just saw Adam Pierce. I think I just saw his hand go to the back of the neck there. That could be the story of the match right there. That Adam is. Adam Pierce's injury could keep him from becoming four times champion. Did you see it again there, Dean? Yes, I did. The neck is definitely a weak point. We knew that going into the match. 
That was a brilliant call on your hat, on your part to see that. Temper shoots him off. Double forearm. And a quick cover by the North American champion. He's looking to step up the ladder to the world championship. But did you see in the corner there, Jimmy Ray getting ready to come through the ropes there, getting ready to break up the pinfall. And if you're a guy on the outside of the ring, this is a great chance for you to take your time and regroup. As long as you keep an eye on the two men in the ring, at any given point, a pinfall situation, a submission situation, you can run in there, you can break it up, and your opportunity is still alive, and you're a lot fresher than they are. Tempers, again, using his forearm and elbow on the base of the skull as the referee checks for a submission. Tempers is the one that I have the, the least amount of information and experience with. I've seen the other three men either in NWA Mountain State or in TNA. But uh, it's a pleasure to be introduced to Sean Tempers in such a high-profile match. And speaking of high-profile, how many federations? Whoa, big right hand by Scrap Iron Adam Pierce as Tempers goes out and Rave capitalizes it. As I was saying, had this been a straight three-way, it would have been number one world, number two North American, number three national. Perhaps not in that direct order, but you would have had all of the major championships in the NWA represented in one building, in one ring, as Rave gets a one count on the man who once again wants to be king, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. So much on the line this evening, the NWA world title, such a historic lineage. You can go back through recent, recent months and find the belt on the waist of Blue Demon Jr. Colt Cabana. Scrap Iron Adam Pierce as well, having held it recently. Go back even further. You'll see famous names such as Dan Severn. You will see Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Terry Funk. Terry Funk. Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett. AJ Styles. The youngest ever world champion. Ron the Truth Killings. Take, a, take an initial from the first name and take the nickname. And who do you get? Ron the Truth Killings, NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Let's go way back. Let's go to Hackenschmidt. No better as Chance Prophet breaks up the breaks up the, the hold there and comes right in on Adam Pierce. And that was a great call on part of Chance Prophet. He saw that Adam Pierce was locked up. He saw all the pain that Adam Pierce was going through. He didn't want Adam Pierce to say I quit. You'd be hard-pressed to get Adam Pierce to say it, but you got to remember that next damage, and it could have happened. So Chance Prophet came in, broke it up. Before all his troubles, Adam Pierce is unloading him. He has Adam Pierce through some really heavy forearms. Now Prophet back to the neck after the snapmare. Now the snapmare is a way to take a man down, but if you've got a man with an injured neck, it's a very effective way to take a man down because you stress all of the muscles. You stress all of the ligaments in the neck on the way down. Chance Prophet taking full advantage of Adam Pierce's weakness. He saw the pain he was in earlier, and right now he's giving him even more. Absolutely. Him coming in there, him breaking up that submission, that wasn't a mercy, not by a long stretch. He may have respect for Adam Pierce. I'd be surprised to hear him voice it. I can't make any sense whatsoever out of his interviews most of the time. But if he's after anything in this business, he is after championship gold. And he doesn't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's all right, Dean. What I was going to say is he's after championship gold, and tonight the biggest championship of them all on the line, the National Wrestling Alliance heavyweight title, as Prophet tags out Jimmy Rave. There's where the Rampage rules come into play because you had Pierce surely expecting to go all the way corner to corner and meet Chance Prophet, but Chance, Chance Prophet got himself tagged in, tagged out of the action by Jimmy Rave. Jimmy Rave! What is Jimmy Rave doing? Is he setting up for a suplex? On the outside going for the suplex. Pierce is blocking it, holding on for all he's worth. Pierce is fighting his way out of it. Pierce is fighting his way. But Jimmy Rave now with an STO on the side of the ring. And you got to remember the way that apron is, that's a lot different than taking a flat on the mat. There is no hope to protect yourself against the damage you're going to incur there. None whatsoever. Look at Chance Prophet taking the fight to Sean Tempers. Tempers caught him with the boots, but Prophet caught him with a spine buster. Caught off the ropes. Cradle suplex. Brain buster. Beautiful cradle DDT by the national champion. And now he's got Tempers up. Beautiful. Beautiful. And could this be it? Scrap Daddy breaking up the pinfall here. This is exciting. 
Adam Pierce dove in, broke up the pinfall attempt. A chance Prophet still aware of his surroundings. Takes the fight right back to him, goes for a pinfall, but Tempers right there to cut him off. Prophet misses with the kick. Tempers doesn't. Tempers setting up. Rolling neck breaker. Prophet trying to get away. And he didn't get away. Tempers fought all the way through to nail that. Tempers almost our new NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And there's the savior dumping Tempers to the outside. Chance Prophet though back up to his feet. Rave runs in, gets caught with a back elbow. Oh, big lariat. Rave ducked it. But Adam Pierce still found Chance Prophet on the other side, and now it's Rave and Pierce in the middle of the ring. Clubbing blows across the back, and Pierce looks like he's about had enough. And he's getting fired up, and he's getting ready to get mean. Look at that face. Oh, there's Tempers coming in, though. Tempers trying to forge an alliance. And some double teaming going on now. They send Pierce off the ropes. Pierce ducks, though. Big double lariat by Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Takes down Jimmy Rave. Hits Sean Tempers. And Tempers and Rave backed up in the corner together. Stacked up like Cornwood about to get chopped down. Here comes the big flying body press. And now Scrap Iron Adam Pierce on Sean Tempers in the corner. Listen to the crowd. And Ten fists on the top rope. Smashes Jimmy Rave into the corner. Rave caught a little bit of Pierce's backside there. But Rave, with the knee to the gut, halts Adam Pierce's momentum. Sends him off the ropes. Pierce reverses. Sends Temptation to the outside. Catches an elbow from Rave. Tempers on the outside. Here's the schoolboy on the inside. Feet are on the ropes. The outside referee just saved this match. It's and look at Chance Prophet. Rolling sent on by Prophet on the outside. Tempers absolutely floored by it. Pierce concentrating on Rave in the ring. Series of shots to the head. Big haymakers, Rave cuts him off. Pierce sizing up, Rave. Oh, look out! Big Lariat by Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. This is, this is it! It's over! Four times! Four times! We have a new world champion, Dean Bibb! A new world champion! Scrap Iron Adam Pierce! He did it! Four times! At the Ohio State Fair, the NWA has re-crowned Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. And Adam Pierce has now entered himself into the history books. It's his fourth title win. And it's the 84th title. The National Wrestling Alliance has crowned a world champion and its champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Scrap Iron Adam Pierce coming back from rehabilitating after a neck injury to reclaim the legendary 10 pounds of gold. Stephen Hensley, what a hard fought match under NWA Rampage rules. He had to overcome three men. He had to overcome the onslaught of three additional people. The North American champion, the Temptation Sean Tempers. The national heavyweight champion, Chance Prophet. They knew they were gonna be a part of this match with Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. But the man who threw himself into the mix, Jimmy Rave, is the man whose shoulders were pinned to the mat by four times, four times, heavyweight champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. And Adam Pierce had to fight through a lot to do it. He came back from a neck injury. He came out here tonight and they targeted him. They went after the neck. And he's not moving. Yeah, that neck might have taken a whole lot more damage over the course of this evening than what we might have initially thought. I have no doubt about that, Dean Tip. But whatever condition he's in right now, he left it all out there tonight, and he accomplished his goal. He is living his dream because once and again, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce is the world's champion of the National Wrestling Alliance. Chip Day getting Jimmy Rave out of here, I would say... As I did earlier this evening, this loss was not Jimmy Rave approved, but I'm not even sure if Jimmy Rave is conscious enough after that. He was turned inside out by that lariat. He's probably not conscious enough yet to know whether he approves of it or not. But he got his bell rung by Adam Pierce, the world's heavyweight champion. Once again, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. 
and he still has yet to make any big movements or to even reach his base, much less his feet after that, Steven. Well, Jimmy Ray did a very intelligent thing today and gave himself a heck of an opportunity, the same as the other three men in the contest. But the man who came out on top, the man who will stand alone at the end of this day with the world title, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, who will once again rest that heavyweight championship on top of his man. He has defended the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship worldwide. Regardless of his methods, he has defended it in Japan, in Europe. He has defended it all over the continental United States. He has defended it in NWA East. He has defended it in NWA Mountain State, NWA New Jersey, Dog Pound. I'm sorry to cut you off, Dean, but I believe the referee just cut, asked for the music to be cut. We may have a situation on our hands. Has he fulfilled his dream of being four times world heavyweight champion at the at the risk of his career? I, I hope that isn't the case. Career aside, these guys put their livelihoods on the line. They put their very health on the line out there. And the last thing you ever want to see is a man come out with an injury. They fight with injuries all the time. you got to fight it off in this business if you want to stay at the top. And Adam Pierce is that guy. He's going to fight to his last breath for everything he's worth. That world title means everything to him, and he left it all out there tonight. I, I said it before, and I, I, I may say it another 20 times in the brief time we have left this evening. He gave it his all tonight. He has the heart of a champion. Say what you will about his other title reigns. But tonight, he cemented his legacy, and he did it with pure wrestling ability, passion, and drive. Absolutely. This was one of the hardest fought matches that I've seen. This was... Far and above as the crowd is getting behind their champion, Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. There he is. He's getting up to his base. Adam Pierce physically exhausted in so much pain. You see the referee coming in there to help Adam Pierce to his feet, helping him up. Pierce is shoving him away. He's saying, this is my moment. I'm doing it on my own. And not only does he not need help, Adam Pierce doesn't want help. Adam Pierce won the title on his own. He's going to stand on his own like a man, like a champion, like a world champion. Your new NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Let the ring announcer say it all four times. NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. And now he wants his music. He's feeling pretty good right now. Well, it's his time to celebrate. If anyone deserves to celebrate, it's the new world champion, Adam Pierce, National Wrestling Alliance. You wondered, would we see it for the fourth time? And the answer is yes. Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce, Scrap Daddy, standing atop every other man in the business today as the world champion, the icon in our industry. And you know, we had the North American Championship and the National Championship in this ring as well. And everyone gave it their best run. Chance Prophet looked good as the National Champion. The Temptation Sean Tempers looked good with the North American Championship. Jimmy Ray gave it his best shot after he conned his way into it. But those three have to live to reign another day because Today's world champion, you see him right there. Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. Fans, it's been one heck of an incredible card. And what a main event. It's one of the finest wrestling cards I've ever had the privilege to be a part of. What will tomorrow bring for Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce? Yeah, yeah. 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 